All right, guys, we continue here now. What is this? Oops. Let me turn on my light. Now oh, it's better. Now we have started the chain. Let's uh, select the chain by pressing A, and then Alt S will allow us to inflate. Yes. So uh, this is good, I think. So now I will apply the mirror modifier, but we have to go to object mode and I will apply the mirror modifier. And now we have this and I'll press tab and make it smaller a little bit and maybe smash it like this. Yeah, we don't need it to be that thick probably. And I will place it and start working on this. So let's see how this will go. Okay, we will need a cylinder. So I will shift D to duplicate it and just pull it up because from this, I will make this first mm, thing. And from this, I will make the rest. So this, let's continue with this. So we need a cylinder to add a cylinder. So shift A while we are in edit mode and we'll add a cylinder here. Where is it? It's here in the bottom. I will pull it up and make it small. Oops, now you noticed something changed. Uh, Control Z. Uh, what changed is when we scale, sometimes uh, the sometimes the the planes, sometimes the those um, not the edges but the the faces they flip when we when we scale. Sometimes they flip, I don't know why, but uh, sometimes it happens, so we have to be careful about that. Now I will just drag to rotate and then minus 90. When I drag to rotate, I see that it's minus something and I know that I need minus and then 90. Although uh, just 90 will be completely enough for this case, but in this case, but whatever. So now let's see, press, don't press G, just move it with the gizmo here and here and uh, we will have to connect it uh, somehow but we will see how the idea is to just do something let's scale it down more it shouldn't be super huge the idea he here is that i will make it uh, the same shape as this one or at least as this the same shape but uh, not the same size. The size we will regulate later, but the shape we need now. So I will uh, take this and make it small. This I will see. And for this thing, let me see it again, how it looks. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take this, scale it down. And we have to somehow connect this upper part to the bo bottom part, to the bo 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 bottom part. But to connect it first, we need to delete this. We don't need this. So I will select it with shift and delete faces or X. X, by the way, is delete, of course. So press L to select this object. Yeah, I'm telling you the shortcuts. Probably you know most of them, but if you don't, it's a good idea to know them. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, it's a good idea to know the shortcuts. Who would guess that that's the case? Okay, now we have to delete a few things and we have to add one edge loop. So, first, I will delete this one probably. Let me think a little bit. Okay. I will add an edge loop here in the middle, around the middle, so we can connect this to this. Okay, that's completely fine. We can connect this to here. All right, now I will delete some edges. So I will delete this from here to here, control, and then delete those X faces. And now I need to do some connections. So I will select this one and this one and press M to merge at last. 
you will select where to merge it at. So I will select this and this and M at last. Let's select this and this M at last. This, this. When you select uh, two or more vertices and M merge at last, last will be the last selected vertice and it will merge in that position. If you merge that center, they will both go into the center position, which is not the, uh, we don't want that. We want to merge at last, merge at last. This one here, M last, and this here, M last. Now I need to uh, connect here. So I need to move, yeah. It's by the way, let me press the dot button in the numpad uh, and now I'm more freely moving the camera. So this dot here, I don't like, and this also here, I don't need them. <clears throat> so I will try to dissolve those vertices, okay? Because there will be just a obstacle, we don't want them. Dissolve vertices, okay. And now I will press F. When you select, yeah, you can select only one of those edges and press F, but I think you have to have um, edit preferences. You have to have from add-ons the F2 add-on. So F2, you see mesh F2, this add-on has to be on, has to be turned on. If it's not, maybe some of those things you will not be able to do. Okay, I will select this X, dissolve vertices and Continue all onward with those. X dissolve vertices. Yeah, you see, this is not the easiest thing, obviously. But uh, it has to be done. And we have to spend the time to do it. That's completely true. So, now here how to do it. Mm, I guess I will just press E. And then... Here I will press F. Okay. And then here I will press F while selecting both vertices. And here I'll have to connect M at last. Okay. And now I just need to move this a little bit like this. And then go here and press F, F. And that should work. Although I'm not exactly sure it will. But here I will insert inward a little bit. So we have this edge. Uh, it has to be a good edge. And then on the sides, on both sides, we have to have this kind of a sharp thing is. Let's see it here. Okay, we have both. And then in this side, we have one little one. Okay, let's see how we will do that. I think I did it a little bit. Everything is a little bit too much, so let me my, make it smaller, and then we will make these sharp things. So I will press K to cut, and I will cut here, and I will cut here. And in the other side I will do the same, I will cut here, and I will cut here. And then press enter, because if you don't, uh, you will just, you know, lose everything in your life. Everything you cared for, you will lose. No, of course not. <laughs> okay. So now uh, I will not extrude it. In my opinion, it will be better for just if I just take this and move it like this. Or, even better, take those with shift and scale it. Then take these and probably just the bottom. Oops. Those and those and just scale them. It's not uh, super nice. And I will G move a little bit because it's not, not as good as I want it to be. But now, it seems kind of nice, but I need to scale those two. Okay, now it looks 
relatively fine. And of course, here in the bottom, we'll do the same. But again, we'll have to, it will be smaller. So I will do this, collect, connect this and this and press J, connect this and this, just select them and press J. And J will just, uh, you know, what it does, what it does, it's visible, it just connects them. And it's very nice because it connects them even through some other vertices. It's very cool. In 3D Max, it can, you cannot do this. At least I don't think you can. Maybe you could, I'm not sure. So this thing on the top here, we'll make it separately. So for now, this is looking good for us. And let's subdivision surface at three. And then I have to uh, select all the edges I want uh, to be uh, control plus those edges will be sharp, the sharp edges that I want. I want to select them. I'm just clicking on the edges that I want to be sharp or sharper. They probably won't be as sharp as, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a little bit meticulous. You have to select almost everything by hand, but that's the way you do it. Hopefully it will be okay. Of course, if it's not okay, we have another option, but hopefully it will be okay. Okay, shift E and drag. All right, I think it's fine. Let's see it. Looking good. Hmm, not bad. I mean, it's, it's fine. Probably it's not exactly the, it's not exactly, it's a little bit sharper than I kind of want, probably, but it's looking good. So let's try to do this kind of a bolt or whatever, how to do it. Um, I will go to add just another uh, UV sphere somewhere. Let's see. Okay, this will be our uh, bolt. I'll press tab to go to edit mode and um, I have to cut it. So I need to look from, from above. Nine on the... No, it's not working. Seven. Yeah, seven is from above. Seven. Then I will press Alt Z to see everything and I will try to select and also those, but not edges. I will try to select yes, like this and hopefully, okay. I think I did it. X faces. I delete the faces. Now press A and then rotate 90, 90 degrees. All right, this is good. And now I need to make this cut in the middle, which will be, okay, let's F, let's press A and then F. So it's, uh, we cap it here. Then we press I to make it like this, okay. And then here, from here, to around this area and then from here to here oops okay no <laughs> not exactly then from here to here we have this and we will probably i will add this too why not and now what i will do with this mm, let me think it's better for me to just delete this i will just erase the faces and then what i will do is i will go ahead select some faces, press F to connect them. Of course, it will be better if you select faces like this and press F and then press F like this and then maybe press F like this. I know it uh, looks a little bit odd, but it's fine. Believe me, it's fine. Now, <laughs> what I need to do here is, let me think. Now, I will select this top area and then control select the other top and press i to in inset like this 
and then we will add a subdivision surface modifier 3 it looks uh, relatively fine although this is too big so what i can do i can press 1 to look exactly from the front and then i can select these edges and move them up and then select those all of those and scale them down only from the side and now we have this you see uh, in order to know how to do these things you have to just be able to work on the program you have to practice a lot that's the only thing okay minus 90 again why am i pressing plus okay and now scale down and i will try to put it exactly where it should be yeah it will be an illusion to think if uh, that you can make a 3d game character without knowledge of the program without at least 200 500 hours in the program in blender before that working doing stuff of course you can jump into the deep and try uh, to do a character from the start since you started the program uh, to do it but it it will be a little bit you know but it's possible it's possible everything is possible if you are willing to do it here you see how this this goes here it's because we don't have um inset on this plane i think so let's alt q select this and then e i and inset it and now it's much better sometimes we just need to put some polygons more polygons in order to gain some results of course here i will add another poly loop one poly loop here and one it's edge loop but whatever okay this is looking relatively nice i may need to connect them both so i can put them into position hmm? what do you say maybe but let's let's say uh, let's take this first and shift e make it sharper okay looks incredible no uh, i i didn't select the the other part uh, but so control z uh, press l to select everything make sure you're on uh, vertices not vertices edges and then shift e and drag with your mouse and i'm uh i'm using the mouse here when i'm modeling i'm using the mouse when i'm sculpting i'm using uh, the tablet so now this is one of uh, the things i will need to separate this selection it will be easier for me to separate it and this one let's go to object mode i, I will connect those two so Control j i connect them and then i press g and r yeah the rota the the rotation is not exactly where we want it uh, i will accept all transformation then tab and now i can a and then I can rotate it however I want, like this, like this, and then I make it smaller because it's too big. And I will put it into position. At least somehow I will put it into position, but it's it's kind of fine. It's looking good. It will be useful, I think. Maybe we need to make some adjustments more. But it's it's fine okay now i will select this link press a and then start to do it scale it down a little bit we don't need it to be that big it will be big but not that big so the idea here is what i'm seeing is what problem will be because this is too close to the face and uh, he probably will have to be able to turn his head and if this chain is very close to his face this will be a problem for the animators and uh, yeah we have to leave a distance but uh, yeah we'll see i will select this with alt q press a to select everything and 
just try to rotate it so it goes down and on the side so we will go around the face hopefully that's the idea i will select this two go to scope mode and smash this a little bit here and that's how you do it you know all these layers we have to adjust them mm, they will not adjust themselves even this one i will push like this to lay down and yeah it will be good if it's like this going upward Let's control Z because uh, moving it with uh, the sculpting tools is not exactly a good thing. Okay, press G. This I will move a little bit more down. So, this guy can be like this. Yeah, adjusting. Everything is about adjusting here. It's not easy. Nobody says easy, but it's uh, it's kind of fun. I I kind of dig it. I kind of like this. So let's take this. Press A to select everything and start working. This, by the way, could be a little bit too too long. So press one, select those, press G and move them like this. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but it's fine. Okay, now everything is selected. I can move this. Let's see. This could go into the body a little bit. And then sh Shift D, rotate it. And then even rotate it like this. Press G to move it. Mm, yeah, this chain will be a very difficult thing to uh, make on a low poly. So, probably I, I will do something else. I will select all of those. Press S to make them smaller. And press Alt S to thicken them a little bit. This will allow them to be a little bit more compact form. Because otherwise, uh, surrounding them with polygons... To make the low poly will be a very, very bad and very difficult thing to do. And we are trying to make our job not easy, but not as hard, you know. So Shift D, both of them. So now I can move them like this and put them into position, hopefully. Rotate. And of course, I can move them one by one. And this will go to the back. So, I don't like it now, yet. Uh, because of the angles. You see this angle here, and this is going another angle, and this is another. So, this doesn't look ultra nice. We'll have to adjust it. Everything is about adjusting. Nothing happens uh, from, from nowhere. It's all about adjusting. Okay. Hmm. I don't hate it. Now it looks relatively nice. And we, we can continue to the back. Press L. Ah, let's take this too. Press L. Shift D. And then rotate. I know some people will say, oh, why don't you... I hide, I hit them. Press Alt-H to unhide them. When you press H, you basically hide the selected geometry. And then you press Alt-H and you unhide it. So uh, some people will say, oh, why don't you do it uh, with the curve and uh, stuff like this? And I explained that the last video. Before that one, in video number 6, I explained what I'm doing. Why am I doing this? And why I'm not I'm not doing it with curve. Because there are few links. There are not too many links. And also, I want them to be in exact position. And with curves, with a curve, I'm not sure it will happen. But this, as you see, is pretty easy. It's not hard at all. Let me see in the back if he has the same thing. No. In the back, I don't completely get it, how it goes here. 
but uh, we will think of something. Shift D, R, G, G, G is for moving, as you probably know already, G. And yeah, we will connect it at some point, but now let's see object mode. And this looks relatively fine. I like it now. Uh, our guy is starting to look more like the concept. Now let's make the the a little bit more about not about let's make a little bit more this so solidify modifier to get thickness the thickness will be pretty huge i mean yeah don't make your thicknesses especially on a characters like this small you need big thickness you need fat thickness you know you don't need to be like ah, i don't want the thickness to be big no you need it to be huge thickness by the way this thing here is flipped and that's why it, the thickness is outward not inward so probably it's flipped let's see by the way face orientation oh it's not flipped <laughs> interesting face orientation when you turn it on let's see everything with face orientation you will see with red the flipped faces and there are no flipped faces here so we are fine everything is is blue uh, I'm blue -da -ba -de -da -ba. okay okay so let's uh, see what happens here. This, I will select it with L and also with this. And I will just kind of put it into position. This is good. Probably a little bit like this. And you see how the edge between the, the different parts of the belt, so between this and this, is now hidden. And that's pretty good. So now I will go to my sculpt mode. And I will push this thing inside like this. And it's looking relatively fine. Here I will pull this. So it's bulging in this area. All right. Are we happy? I think we should be, since this is looking relatively nice. Now, this part here, I will go to Tab, press L, and move this down. But only this I want to take. And I'll move this down and rotate it like this. By the way, by the way it's too big, but I don't care. So we have to have two of those, right? Okay. Shift D. We now have two of those. Pretty easy. Shift D is a pretty nice shortcut for duplication. Duplicating. All right, this looks fine. Let's select this one. And uh, only this one with L. And rotate it, scale it. G. Probably we can make it a little bit thicker scale it down and move it inward all right ah so the belt is going over this area here so okay okay all right no problem i will do it like this and we have it then we can go here, add a modifier, subdivision surface, then go to edge data and just increase everything at 5. Point 0.5. And of course here we can have 4 and 4 and we are fine. By the way, <laughs> this doesn't look fine here. I don't know why exactly. It's interesting. It should look fine, but it's not. I will fix it later, no problem. Alright, this is amazing. Now we have a lot of things on the character. Let's just fix a little bit those folds. So they shouldn't be that long. And also, I noticed that the knees are pointing outward too much. So we need them to be a little bit more kind of 
forward pointing and maybe a little bit wider the knees they have to be like one box like in the concept a box just a box okay this looks fine for now let's go to the arms and uh, for the fingers i like them to be thicker especially the thumb i like the thumb to be thicker than the other fingers much thicker like this i think this is very nice and i will move it a little bit more up otherwise it looks like another finger and it's it's, it's another finger yeah but it's a little bit bigger than the others and uh, uh, shorter maybe it has to go like this all right so this is it for this video we'll continue in the, in the next one with some other things we need gloves we need to make mm, some other things his weapon this on the back and stuff like this so for now bye